Well, we now come to the, the next stage of uh, this program, that is the, uh, the announcement of the so-called Vrienden of Copenhagen Scholarship and the Vrienden of Copenhagen Prize, which we have introduced as of today for the best bachelor student and the best master thesis. So from a bachelor point of view, it is about giving a prize to the best student and using that prize for further study. Uh, I special small note, the prize is not to make a nice travel to all kinds of nice cities. It's especially used to stimulate further study, probably abroad or somewhere else, to really uh, develop yourself further. And also for the uh, master thesis best prize, um, we uh, are pleased to give uh, award for that and to use the money also for further study in some of the areas. Um, and first of all, uh, I have the jury report and I will uh, uh, present it uh, shortly, but all persons which are named, which are nominated, are already on the top of their group. Uh, the people which are nominated here are nominated by the schools of this university. So in fact, it is not one award, Maybe one word really is handed over, but I think we need to give an applaud, applause to all nominees because they already are the top of this university in each school, both from a bachelor point of view as from a master's thesis point of view. I want to express that especially because at the end there's only one winner, but all the other people are very special and we also hope that they see this prize or award or this nominee as a further stimulus to develop yourself further. Well, let me come to the, let's call first the Vrienden of Copenhagen Scholarship, which is for the best bachelor student. And the two criteria we have looked at from a jury point of view is both academic excellence, but also especially societal, societal relevance, because as we have a theme from the university, understanding society, then it's very important that it's not only about academic relevance. And of course, as I said, we like you to spend the award on what we call executive education. Well, let me first go to the nominees of the Vrienden van Copenhagen Scholarship, so that's for the best bachelor student. The first is Pearl from Lockhausen from the Bachelor of Psychology. Secondly, Christina Koenig, and I know that most of you are present. Maybe it's nice that the one who are present that they stand up so that all the rest know who they are. So maybe probably first Pearl. I don't know where Pearl is. There's Pearl. <laughs> Christina Koenig. Valerie, and I have to announce it precisely, Puchel. <laughs> and Remco Geervliet, he took a lot of time to specially come out from Oxford. <laughs> yes, those are the, the four. And maybe if you understanding, the jury consists of myself, Patrick Vermeulen from the board of uh, the Vrienden van de Copenhagen Foundation, Emile Aert, nominees, Koen Becking, Sylvester Eifinger and Frederik Knoet. And together we have come together and tried to come to a conclusion. Well, we considered five nominees for the Vrienden of Copenhagen Prize and four nominees for the Vrienden of Copenhagen Scholarship. Those nominees have been nominated by their respective schools. And we were very impressed by the quality and the excellence of all nominees. Uh, this is the creme de la creme of our student community. And the schools were only allowed to nominate per category. Only the best students were selected to compete for the Vrienden of Copenhagen Scholarship and Prize. And as I just presented uh, the nominees of the Vrienden of Copenhagen Scholarship, it's a great honor for me now to 
report you on the conclusion of the jury. Um, if we all nominees have obtained exceptional academic results and show personalities and profile that makes Tilburg University proud. The nominees are students that go further than their regular curriculum, our curriculum that they will pass with flying colors and show real interest in becoming a full person, participate in a large range of extracurricular facilities and are driven to advance society in a way that the founder of this university, Martinus Kobbenhagen, has described. And we were finally anonymous about the winner of the scholarship, Vrienden of Kobbenhagen scholarship, and we are very pleased to announce that Pearl has won the scholarship. So, Pearl, <laughs> please. I will read the, the final conclusion. The jury was particularly impressed by Pearl. She wrote an excellent bachelor thesis that her department uh, is currently, together with Pearl, turning into a thesis into an academic article. And that, especially for a bachelor student, is very special. And so that's one. Per second, Pearl has shown her ability to not only consider her own discipline, but also others too. On top of that, she has an international profile, and of all nominees, Pearl is a student who takes the most effort to use her understanding of society in order to advance society, and therefore, it's our choice for the Vrienden of Copenhagen Prize. So, we decided to award you this award, this first award, so we are very pleased to that. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now I go to the Vrienden of Copenhagen Prize, which is for the best master thesis um, from the different schools. And again, those are uh, put forward by all the schools to the jury. The first is, is Frederik Hafkamp. I don't know if Frederik is. There is Frederik. I'm gonna not, I do not gonna read all the theses because some of them are very specific subjects, but again, um, very good theses. <laughs> Mike Michael Spikmans. <laughs> Third one, Susanne Hendriksen. Fourth one, Thomas Kuipers. <laughs> and the fifth one, Yvonne Bolsius. <laughs> yes, and now uh, it's like an Oscar uitreiking. <laughs> uh, the final, who is the winner? It's a very honor to us, and we are very pleased that Susanne Hendriksen is the winner for the first <laughs> Vrienden of Hagen Prize. So please, Susanne, come forward. Well, let me first uh, present to you what we wrote. You wrote an absolute masterpiece with considerable relevance for our society, something that already was acknowledged by a prize of the Tilburg University in November. 
for economic uh, excellence, of academic excellence, and uh, that was very special. Uh, you managed to look at societal challenge from three completely different angles and left the reader with some very good conclusions and questions for further research, and we can be sure to see more of this kind of research in the years coming forward. Uh, it, was for, it was first difficult because all theses were very good at a very high profile, but we still believe, and we all were anonymous in that, that uh, we selected you because your research theme will become extremely relevant in the years to come. Uh, the, the whole industrial and the technolo technological revolution that will change society and everything what you are writing down is for us uh, a subject that will become very relevant and will be also a challenge for society. And hopefully also this university will contribute to uh, give the answers maybe to that. You dealt with the theme in a very clear and methodolog methodological way and the thesis reads like a novel. So again, we are very pleased to award you this prize and hopefully it stimulates you to further study in this area. Finally, both winners, we will, uh, we will offer them also uh, a first three-year membership of uh, our foundation. <laughs> and of course, we hope that you will stay a friend forever.